Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a new video. Um, for anyone who's new to the channel, as always, I got to introduce the project just in case. Uh, this is a 3D modeling fan project uh, where I am recreating all of Hyrule in the art style of the Wind Waker. The Wind Waker. I'm trying to be a little higher energy on this video. I don't know. I, 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 I was listening to some of my previous videos and especially the uh, Shadow Temple uh, voiceover. Um, I, I did a video um, two videos ago <laughs> where I was creating the entrance to the Shadow Temple in the world of the Wind Waker. And I just felt like it was so low energy and I was stuttering over my words. It wasn't fun. But anyway, all that to say, um, this is a 3D modeling project. Like I said, this is welcome. Welcome to Wind Waker Unflooded. Um, as you know, if you've played Wind Waker, you know that all the islands of the Great Sea are really the mountaintops of Hyrule. But we never get to fully explore Hyrule. We only get a glimpse of it. So let's fully realize it as you've never seen it before. A world that you've always wanted to explore is now explorable. I, I, I'm doing my best over here. Anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're trying some new things in this video. So I did a poll recently on the channel. Um, check the community tab if, if you want to, you know, uh, make sure that, that you have an active voice in, um, in, in voting whenever I ask questions. Because because I'll, I'll put up polls whenever I want y'all's input and it will inform my creative decisions. Um, also, I read comments, you know, so I mean, you know, not, not, to, not to scare y'all into anything. I read comments and, and all the suggestions that y'all make in your comments, you know, I, I, those are 100% in my notes and I'm, I'm keep doing that. I really want to keep encouraging y'all putting down your ideas. Um, you know, I, I, I want to read more of your ideas. In fact, I, I really love this project being very community driven, but, but, but anyway, this, this video is all thanks to a recent community poll where I was trying to figure out Castle Town, right? Cause Wind Waker, you know, we, we see Hyrule Castle but we don't see castle town we see a couple ruins around the castle and the question is where is where does castle town go um and you know part of part of the question there was you know like i've seen some comments on the channel talking about the great plateau and i'm putting the great plateau in this project um and the question is is that where castle town should be and then there's the question of like, well, maybe that's where a castle town is, but this is the world of the Wind Waker and there should be a town near the castle. <laughs> that's the question. So, um, you know, I definitely want to like keep putting stuff on the Great Plateau and let me know what y'all think about that. Like, I feel like it could make sense to, to have, you know, the, the Temple of Time there and some, and some, maybe the ruins of an older town, um, but also to have a separate castle town near Wind Waker's Hyrule Castle. Maybe it's a, even a version of Castle Town that we've never really seen before. Um, and, and that's really what we're getting down to in this video, um, is this is a new design of Hyrule Castle Town to fit in with the Wind Waker's unique design of Hyrule Castle. Um, and, and I had a poll up and I was like, well, should the Castle Town be on that path between Hyrule Castle and Ganon's Tower? There's not a whole lot of room there it could also be like suspended in the lake that could be a little experimental it may not work it may not <laughs> um and i'm serious like this is something that like i'm not sure about like and i've seen the end of this video i know how it looks at the end and i'm still not sure um and i really like the idea of hyrule castle town as a lake town you know suspended over the over the lake there's canals um, you know, where you, you can walk down some stairs and be at water level, you know, over the lake. Um, and so there's, there's parts of the city that's hovering. There's parts of it that are, are lower to the canals. And, and I love that idea. Um, it's, it's something that I may not truly know though, if it works until I make a couple of more buildings. So this video is just all about a start. And, and I, I don't know, like, I think it's a, I think it's a cool idea and I think it'll work. It's just, it's, I'm kind of going out on a limb here. I'm not sure what y'all will think, <laughs> but you know, this is a, uh, this is a creative project, right? And we're doing something new here. So let's not, let, you know, let, let's not stop ourselves from trying new things. I don't know. I think it would be cool if this could work. It's just like, you know, there's no precedent really for this design in any Zelda game, but I'd like the idea for several reasons. Um, cause I, I don't know. I think about like 
you know, we don't see uh, the castle town in the Wind Waker, but like, what if that's because it was hovering over the lake, right? And it like all Ganon's forces had to do was, you know, at that point when it's when it's suspended like that, it doesn't take much to to crumble in, in an entire city, and that's a kind of dramatic idea. And I feel like you know putting the city over there in the water makes it easy for it to to vanish in the actual time of the Wind Waker after all the final battles that led to the flood. Um, so I don't know. That's that's just kind of the way I see it. But but I do want to talk, talk about the building that I'm working on here as a start. Um, and maybe you can already tell at this point in the time lapse. I'm not actually watching the time lapse uh, as I'm recording this voiceover. So who knows how this is lining up? <laughs> Sometimes I watch the uh, the time lapse, but I haven't quite timed it out yet, and I and I, I just haven't edited down the, the footage yet. Uh, so who knows? But <laughs> but I've always thought it would be cool to see a theater or an opera house in in the world of Hyrule. And I don't think, to my knowledge, I don't think there are any theaters ever in a Zelda game. Let me know if there's anything I'm forgetting, though. Um, you know, and the closest thing we have, I think, is the stage in the auction house. And so the auction house from Wind Waker on Windfall Island, um, its interior became the basis of the interior design of this theater, of this opera house. Um, and I really like the way that it, that it, that it turns out in the video. Um, I don't know. I've just, I've always wanted to see that kind of location in Hyrule. I don't, I don't know how y'all feel about that, but it's just, it's, it's always made sense to me. This is where we realize, uh, you know, that, that my own interest is, this is not just, it's not just my own interest as a Zelda fan, but you know, I, I, I think, I think the theater is a, uh, an important part of any city. <laughs> um, but I, I, I don't know. I just, I thought it would be a cool location. I thought it would be dramatic to have the great chandelier you know, have that in place, have this just dramatic structure where everyone can watch a theatrical performance. I've always liked the idea of that, and, I, and I've been surprised that Hyrule has never had that, because it always seems like it would be a very cultured, you know, kingdom that, that would celebrate the arts, right? You would think. Um, I do... I'm not going to comment on that. Um, I was going to say something about Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I'm choosing not to discuss that too much on this channel yet. Uh, I do want to be able to talk about it, but I, I still want to give people more time as they're still playing it. I'm still playing it. There's things I have left to find, so I'm not talking about it on the channel yet. Um, but what was I saying? But but yeah, all, all this to say, um, I'm really excited by by the idea of this location. And I, you know, if I'm doing my own take on Hyrule Castle Town, I feel like it's an opportunity to kind of bring more of those kinds of never before seen locations you know, the like things that like make sense within Hyrule, but things we've never really seen, you know, um, you know, and there are like kind of classic Hyrule Castle Town, like things I want to bring to life. If I'm doing my own version of it, I, you know, I want to do the, the main square with, you know, with a fountain in the center, you know, or a statue, that kind of main town square. I want that for sure. Um, and there's some really iconic kind of architecture styles in Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time that I want to draw from for my own take of, of Castle Town. Um, and of course, that's also informed by the assets of the Wind Waker and the textures that are, that are available. I've kind of made a decision so far. I was thinking about, like, I could import new textures and make some within the style of the Wind Waker, but I kind of like the idea that, like, as, as far as I can push it to use material that was already existing in the game so that it's it just feels a little bit more... Um, true to what an expanded Wind Waker world would be. Um, so it's, I don't know, it's like I could make assets from scratch and that would take time. So it's also a time saver to reuse assets. But it's like, I also want to really respect all the work that the developers of the Wind Waker put into these models. And if I can show them off in new ways and recontextualize the work that they did and allow it to benefit new locations that they didn't even... Um, complete for the game. I think, I think that that's kind of a cool idea. And so I, so yeah, all, all, all that to say, I, I like the idea that the auction house being reinterpreted into a theater here. Um, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see it yet. I have no idea how the timing is going to work out with the time lapse, like I said, but I'm doing a, I'm, I've made a decision to include a pretty high stage. Um, it's like a 
it's a dual tiered stage. I mean, it's a stage with a balcony over it as well. Um, and, you know, I mean, balconies are, are, I feel like are a very important part of theatrical productions. Um, I don't know, something, something that I really appreciate. I, I visited the Globe Theater last fall and it was really interesting to hear about like how, you know, if you were a visitor sitting in the balcony, um, which I feel like is is kind of the purpose of the balcony in this Hyrule Theater, um, it's for visitors to sit. And it's it's not a good seat for viewing the play, but it is a good seat to be viewed from. And so there's that culture, right, of like wealthy uh, patrons visiting visiting the theater who they want to go to the theater so that people can see them um, and see that they can afford the balcony seat. And it's kind of a status thing. Um, and I think that that's just fascinating. And so I kind of wanted to incorporate that into this theater design. There's that tier that's like, you know, it's it's it looks so high both over the audience and over the stage itself. Um, and also like, you know, you, you need a balcony uh, whenever you know, for any good theater needs a balcony, right? How are you going to do Romeo and Juliet if you don't have a balcony? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're going to put on Romeo and Juliet, you need a balcony on your stage. Um, <laughs> you know, dadgummit. Um, how, how else are you going to do it? But, um, I don't know. I, 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 I jest. I jest. But, um, anyway, I, I, I'm a, I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling at this point. I should start wrapping things up. Um, I, I hardly talked about Zelda at all in this video, I feel like, but, <laughs> but, um, you know, like, like I said, I, I definitely want to encourage y'all to comment down below any places that y'all want to see in Hyrule realized within the art style of the Wind Waker. Comment down below, below any ideas that you have. I, I always love hearing from y'all. It's been really encouraging to see all of, all of y'all's comments. I, I try to respond, um, to most of them. Um, at the very least, I, I will heart it, um, you know, if, if it's worth hearting. Sometimes I don't heart it if it's worth hearting because because it slips past me and that happens too. But but all this to say, um, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all the ending spiel. Y'all know how it goes. Returning viewers, y'all know the y'all know the drill. If y'all want to support me, I have a Patreon. And supporting me on Patreon, I, I would love to see y'all there. Uh, it, it helps uh, fund the creation of all my projects, all my filmmaking projects. I, I have a feel free to subscribe to my main channel where I post my filmmaking projects um, as well. But uh, subscribing to me on becoming a Patreon member gives you exclusive uh, access to, to bonus features, you know, behind the scenes material that, you know, you wouldn't have access to other otherwise uh, scripts that I'm working on um, in advance for for future projects, along with storyboards and, and unreleased music. Um, that's all there on Patreon. So I would love to see you all there. Um, but yeah, like I said, with music. Uh, any background music that you've heard in this video was my music. So feel free to, uh, you can also support me by listening to my music on Spotify or Apple Music or wherever you listen to music. Uh, look up Joe Kendrick on Spotify. J-O-E-K-E-N-D-R-I-C-K. I think I spelled it right that time. A couple videos ago, I misspelled my own name when I was doing that. I said J-E-O instead of J-O-E. Like, you know, come on, who do, who do I think I am? Who do I think I am? Obviously, I don't know if I'm misspelling my own name. <laughs> but all this to say, we're wrapping up the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, I've said everything I have to say. So yeah, without further ado, I'll let y'all go. 